Hey farmers, I'm Buddy, the head of marketing for Aquapara Games, and today we're going to rediscover the simple life in Ever After Falls. An irreverent farming sim, Ever After Falls has all the good stuff you're looking for in one of these types of games. Relaxing vibes, a cute helpful pet, and all the cardboard upgrades you can eat. Now for today's video, let's just cover some of the core, basic mechanics for Ever After Falls and answer a very straightforward question. What are some of the things you can do in this game? What's it look like to farm? How do you fish? Why is this tiny frog so freaking cute? Okay, okay, stay focused. I am fine and also normal about the cutest frog ever. Okay, farming. I'm just gonna lightning around this, so you go to a shop, buy some seeds, bring them home, till some soil, drop them in, water them up, glug, 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 and then take your crops and sell them for all they're worth. We're not really reinventing Harvest Moon with this one. The big difference in Ever After Falls, though, is that, well, you don't actually have to do all the steps of that process yourself. You actually get to tell your pet to do some of it. When you water crops on your farm, it's not you lugging around a watering can, it's you giving your pet an order while you get to walk away. In the late game, you can queue up dozens of orders for your hardworking little guy and go out and about, completing quests, catching bugs, and, well, fishing. When you make your first fishing rod in Ever After Falls, and you do make and upgrade your own rods in the game, you can start going out to all the streams and ponds in town and catch every fish you see. Though, you do need to actually see them, those little shadowy silhouettes. Once you cast your line, wait for the fish to come close, and then snatch them up to enter the fishing minigame. You'll see these little circles pop up, spinning round and round, and once you stop, it's your job to get this hook down to that fish. If your timing isn't great, well, you know, better luck next time. Or you can feel free to upgrade your fishing rod to get a better shot at landing a big one, which is good because you're gonna need to land some big ones if you're gonna fill up this here aquarium on behalf of the town. See, I did mention collection, didn't I? Collection's a big part of Ever After Falls because look at this big old aquarium. Somebody's gotta drop some seashells and fish in there, right? And just down over this way, we get the whole museum run by Tobias the Turtle. Hey, Toby. What's up, champ? Whenever you have something new to bring to the museum, you can either drop it off right where it goes in the display cases or in this little depository. Do that if you're in a rush. Old Toby will make sure it ends up in the right spot. Completing those collections gets you tickets, and those tickets can be used for cool stuff. So, you know, get out there. Catch bugs and fish and frogs, the tiny little frogs. Okay, if I get started on these frogs, I'm never gonna finish this video, so let me wrap it up. I'm gonna be doing more of these for other aspects of the game. If you're wondering more about that pet of yours or the flying drones you saw in some of the footage, keep your eyes peeled for future deep dives. If you'd like to learn more about Ever After Falls, please feel free to wishlist us on Steam. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed getting back to the basics. Cheers.